Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Young and the restless spoilers indicate that given how much this whole he said, she said Paris plotline has intensified, Ashley Abbott may be on the verge of another mental collapse. Ashley is holding on to the hope that Tucker McCall is deceiving her and using bribes to support his version of events. Naturally, Ashley's waiter and the other waitstaff members, Tracy Abbott, spoke with supported Tucker's account of events, even in the face of greater financial incentives. Ashley appears to be misremembering the confrontation at this point, but she appears afraid to face the facts. Now, Ashley's mental condition seems to be more crucial to the Y and R plot than the actual events in that Paris cafe. Does it really matter whether Tucker flung a chair or smashed a glass in the larger scheme of things? But that's not the problem here. Tucker still snapped at Ashley and made her afraid. Ashley is just now beginning to doubt her sanity and feel deceived by people who are attempting to reach her. Ashley is angry that she might be mistaken about her memories because she was so certain of her accuracy. It's simple to understand how that may be difficult for someone who has previously struggled with mental illness and delusions. Ashley will have to deal with a challenging reminder of her past following another intense confrontation with Tucker over the week of February 12 to 16. Ashley sounds like she might be nearing her breaking point because there seem to be some flashbacks to her past mental health issues. Before Ashley goes too far, she might come to the realization that she needs help from a professional. How is Tucker going to be affected by Ashley's impending admission to a mental health facility? Tucker might become softer toward Ashley as a result, feeling bad about his part in driving her over the line. Tucker has occasionally been harsh and even arrogant, even when his version of events seemed to be accurate. Tucker was prepared to celebrate his victory, but it's possible that he realized he ought to have been more worried about Ashley's deteriorating mental state. Will Audra Charles suffer a severe setback as a result of Tucker turning back toward Ashley? Tucker must be kept close to Audra in order to draw him in for her glissade takeover, but things could go wrong. Audra might lose in more ways than one if Tucker ends up getting back together with Ashley because it appears that she is starting to feel something for him. Keep checking back for more on Tucker's future as we have spoilers for the young and the restless suggesting that he may need to do some introspection soon. The young and the restless teasers for Tuesday, February 13 suggest a major confrontation between Tucker McCall and Ashley Abbott as she eventually becomes unavoidable. Ashley can press more charges against Tucker for allegedly attempting to discredit her and making bride demands. But Tucker would counter that Ashley is doing a great job of projecting insanity all by herself. Ashley is obviously getting more and more insane. She needs expert assistance since she is truly spiraling out of control. Given her potential to become entangled in some of the animosity, it will be interesting to watch how Audra Charles handles the most recent conflict between Ashley and Tucker. Additional lie and R teasers suggest that Nick Newman and Phyllis Summers will reunite for the first time in a very long time during their catch-up session. Phyllis might provide updates on some of the drama between Danny Romilotti and Christine Blair, but Nick might believe he is only hearing Phyllis's distorted version of events. But Nick's return will be much anticipated by Phyllis, who hopes he'll take her out to dinner at Society. There will be awkward moments as Summer Newman and Chance Chancellor enjoy a romantic date night at the same restaurant. Everything will proceed as planned until Chance and Summer run into an unforeseen problem. We are speaking, of course, of Phyllis and Nick's surprise reunion. Chance offers to seat Summer's parents at their table, but Summer refuses to sit down. Though Nick will make the observation that it sounds like a date, and he doesn't want to ruin it, Phyllis will be thrilled at the prospect of them all dining together. If Phyllis persists, Summer may give in, 
or she may exhale in relief if Nick succeeds in bringing his ex out. In any case, when they are finally alone together again, Summer will probably apologize to Chance. Chance may chuckle at Summer's discomfort and remark that he finds it amusing when she wriggles about in that way. Chance will surely make sure Summer doesn't have any problems by using his excellent sense of humor. Keep checking back for additional information, as spoilers for The Young and The Restless indicate that Summer and Chance's romantic relationship is beginning to blossom. Young and The Restless Monday, February 12 teaser state that when Victoria Newman arrives at the ranch and observes that Nikki is wearing a tough appearance, she will admit to her most recent transgression in sobriety. When the topic of Jordan comes up, Nikki will say that she has been getting more calls, the most recent of which had music with strippers on it, so she knows Jordan made it out alive. Victor Newman will wonder if Nikki may have imagined it, even though she will be adamant about what she heard and complain about her family trying to keep her in the dark about the fire issue. Nikki will also confess to Victoria and Victor that she bought a bottle of vodka and kept it hidden. Because it will be gone, Victor will certify that he had his staff thoroughly inspect the house. Victoria will explain that there is no rush and that she and Victor would be there to help. But Nikki will understand that she must have the strength to reject temptation on her own. When Nikki wakes up from a dream in which she is someplace drinking booze like a vagrant, she is shocked. She will bring up Claire Grace's recollection of Jordan, saying that a fire would be the ideal distraction when she returns to Victoria. Victor will make it abundantly evident that he will do whatever it takes to protect Nikki and his family. Ashley Abbott will find out that Tracy Abbott confirmed that the other wait staff workers at the Abbott home had seen Tucker McCall's version of events by speaking with them. Ashley will start yelling that Tucker paid for the entire lunch, but Tracy will concede that she offered to pay twice as much as whatever bribe Tucker made if they would just say the truth. They all insisted it was just an argument without chairs or broken glasses, and none of them took Tracy's offer. Ashley will act as though Tucker has threatened them, and because Tracy, Jack Abbott, and Diane Jenkins Abbott don't believe Ashley is telling the truth, she will become more and more enraged. Ashley will act as though they're trying to make her question her sanity, and once she becomes enraged over her own family betraying her, she will storm away. Diane might counter that it would be best to let Ashley calm down, and that confronting her in the first place was futile. Diane will think that the focus should be primarily on Ashley's decision to leave Tucker, while Tracy will think that Ashley needs to know the truth in order to move on. Later, Jack will contact Nikki back to comfort her about her awful day. Now that Victor knows Jack is Nikki's sponsor, therefore he will volunteer to come see Diane anytime she feels uncomfortable. When Tucker tells Audra Charles in his suite that he is just looking out Ashley's location so he can avoid her, she will understandably be dubious. Audra will think Tucker is crazy to hope to avoid Ashley since they will definitely cross paths with her at some point. Tucker would call Audra his best friend before they even kiss, telling her that she is the woman he wants until she calms down. Ashley is banging on the door, demanding that Tucker open it, but Tucker would not listen. While having a drink at the GCAC, Ashley will call Tucker in the Y and R episode that airs on Monday and tell them she has to see him immediately. Tucker won't notice Ashley's text because he'll be in bed with Audra. Chelsea Lawson at Connor Newman's school at Society will deliver even worse news to Billy Abbott. According to his teachers, he is struggling to focus in every subject. There will be concerns expressed about Connor's difficulty absorbing information and his frequent hand washing and use of hand sanitizer. Chelsea intends to bring up Connor's scheduled visit with the on campus therapist in the hopes that Billy would inquire as to whether Connor could be concerned about getting sick and falling even further behind. Billy will chastise Chelsea for his opinion of him after giving him a motivational speech 
and reflecting on his enraged exchange with Tucker. In addition, Billy would admit that Tucker had mentioned how power-hungry he was and that he was thinking of going after Jabot to incorporate it into Chancellor Winters. Billy will make it sound impossible, but he feels that Abbott Winters would be a better name for the company and that Jill Abbott ought to have more representation. Chelsea is correct when she emphasizes the importance of the Chancellor name and Catherine Chancellor's honor. Billy will see this. Billy will select ACW for Abbott Chancellor Winters and become increasingly certain that this is a smart choice, giving Chelsea the impression that he is trying to assert his control. As rumors from the young and the restless indicate that Billy is setting himself up for more rivalry between Devin Hamilton and Winters, stay in for updates on all the drama. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.